Uh, breaking news from overnight. A barricade situation in a Waikiki hotel is now over. It caused chaos yesterday evening as more than 100 hotel guests and condo residents were forced to evacuate. Our Casey Lund is live at the scene where this all played out with the very latest. Morning, Casey. Yeah, Steve, good morning. And we know the scene essentially cleared around uh, 2 this morning. Uh, we had a crew here checking up on things. We were here late into the night as this played out. Uh, it all started at 4.30 yesterday afternoon. We do know also at this hour that HPD says they do have that man in custody. Let's show you the video, though, and take you back to when this all unfolded uh, yesterday afternoon. Again, around 4.30, that's when hotel staff say uh, that a man had... Uh, came at an employee with a knife or had brandished a knife when that employee came to his room. Not clear exactly how this all unfolded or what that interaction was like prior to that. Again, it wasn't immediately clear if that employee was attacked or injured, but we did learn uh, later that no patients were transported and that hotel employee uh, wasn't hurt. Again, HPD has the man in custody. We don't have a lot of information on who he was or, again, that interaction, why the hotel staff uh, had to go to his room. We're trying to get those details, but let's also show you those tense moments and you can imagine uh, the fear and uh, just how challenging this was for so many people, more than 100 residents and visitors that were here in Waikiki that afternoon uh, trying to evacuate the hotel. HPD did a good job of getting them uh, out of the way, out of harm's way, making sure nobody was hurt during all this. They had their specialized services division here trying to handle the situation. Flashbangs were heard. We talked to some of those visitors that were here as this all played out. Out. Take a listen. And all they said was, we just need to go on your balcony and see if we can get to the room, to the other room. Like, I'm like literally still shaking. I'm shaken up and so are my friends. And we were scared just hearing the police outside the door, never mind getting kicked out of our room and like not knowing <laughs> what's going to happen, especially because all of our things are in there. We have no updates. I tried to ask one of the officers in security like what's going on because they're in our room and he walked away, didn't really care. Yeah, and those folks were bussed out around 7.15, by the way. They're taken uh, to the ballroom at the Hilton Waikiki, just down the road on Kuhio. Uh, but again, this played out late into the evening. We know that VASH, the Visitors uh, Association of Hawaii, those folks that support uh, visitors here when they're dealing with situations like this, they stepped in and offered their aid as well. Uh, but good news that nobody was hurt during all this. They do have that gentleman in custody. We'll be following up with HPD to learn a little bit more about about uh, why this all happened, uh, what they know about that man who they took into custody and any charges. We'll be following up on this throughout the morning. Of course, you can find the latest on air right here on Sunrise and always online at hawaiinewsnow.com. Steve, we'll send things back to you in the studio for now. Yeah, thank you, Casey.